We are surrounded by stuff that needs electricity, from your alarm clock beside your bed to the satellites flying in the space. And there are many ways and resources to generate electricity to support us. One of the attractive ones is nuclear power. We use nuclear fission to release energy, then use water to collect them. To make this happen, we can use uranium-235 and strike it with neutrons. Once the neutron is absorbed, the new element will become very unstable. Most likely, it will split into lighter elements and some free neutrons and radiation energy. The radiation will heat up the surrounding water, and the free neutrons will be used to react with the rest uranium atoms, which is quite different from the one-reaction nuclear bomb. Then, this light water reactor will be able to keep the water flowing and make sure the heat up steam transfer the energy into the turbine. Nuclear energy saves lives. Even if you include the death caused by both Chernobyl and Fukushima, nuclear energy still ranks the last in the death per energy unit produced. Nuclear energy also reduces the emission of carbon dioxide. Nuclear harms the climate much less than the fossil fuels, which is our main energy source. Since 1976, about 64 gigatons of greenhouse gas have not been emitted, all thanks to the nuclear energy. And the same amount of energy produced by 200 tons of uranium equals to 3.5 million tons of coal. However, despite all the benefits of nuclear power, some major nuclear accidents keep reminding us the danger of it. One of the most serious accidents may be the Chernobyl disaster. While a reactor exploded in the Ukraine, a part of the Soviet Union at the time. The Chernobyl nuclear power plant was one of the advanced facilities in the Soviet Union. The first two reactors began to operate in 1977 and 1978. The fourth one was the latest and started operating in 1983. On April 26, 1986, technicians of the tower planet was preparing for a test on the backup cooling system. However, the safety routine at the time messed up terribly. Control rods are placed between the uranium to slow down the reaction, and cooling water flows around the core to prevent overheating of it. But as the test began, most of the control rods were removed, causing the reactor to explode releasing 8 tons of radioactive matters into the atmosphere. 115,000 people were evacuated from a 30km zone around the plant. 500,000 people were deployed for the accident and its aftermath, and the fire lasted for 15 days. 31 of the initial firefighters and the plane workers were killed within days due to the serious radiation. The toxicity of the radioactive clouds is the same as 400 times of the Hiroshima atomic bomb explosion. After 25 years, another major nuclear accident happened in Fukushima. This disaster starts with a huge tsunami caused by a magnitude 9 undersea earthquake. The water crashes into the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. The protection wall of the plant wasn't strong enough to withstand the destruction and was torn apart. The power generator of the cooling system was first destroyed, and after that, the overheated plant melted down from core to shell. Finally, the whole thing exploded. The destruction of Fukushima nuclear reactors sent out significant amount of radioactive wastes. For example, the leakage of calcium-137 almost equals to 169 Hiroshima atomic bombs. The sea waves carried the deadly wastes to the Pacific Ocean and reached the North America after 48 hours. This leakage created a large area of dead zone. The radiation effect, especially from the nuclear explosion, could be very fatal to human beings. It will cause a lot of potential sickness to the organs of whole body, which is much worse than cancer. For example, there will be redness and burning appearing on skins, and the breathing of radioactive material will even damage the DNA itself. In the future, nuclear power can be one of the most powerful sources of energy. The high energy efficiency keeps all electronics working, and our lives will be greatly simplified with all the benefits of nuclear power. Or the nuclear power is just a time bomb, and will need us to defuse it from having more accidents in the future for good.